Hi, this is Charlie Matotoyello with Blue Bear Flutes. Of course, uh, you know us from our website, bluebearflutes.com, here on YouTube as Blue Bear Flutes. And if you look anywhere else, Instagram, Facebook, even Twitter, you might find me occasionally, <laughs> on a very rare occasion, uh, on Blue Bear Flutes, as well as Pinterest and, gosh, some of everything else, even Reddit. Um, anyway, today I wanted to talk to you about the tone of flutes. A lot of people have the idea that high tones are very annoying or shrill or what have you. In my life and my career of making Native American flutes, I have actually encountered about three people, I think, that uh, were from the military that had lost hearing and that had a ringing in their ears. Now, I have a ringing in my ears as well, which is <laughs> kind of uh, uh, frustrating when you're a musician and a flute player and a flute maker. Uh, but uh, the ringing in my ears kind of comes and goes with my blood pressure. It's not really that bad. Um, it does get annoying sometimes, and I do take, you know, I guess some mineral supplements for it. But uh, these people that I've met that had the ring in their ears is constant. It keeps them up at night type thing. And those people I uh, spoke to in great detail about uh, high tone flutes and what have you and, and for their purposes I found that probably playing a lower or medium tone flute would probably be the best thing. The rest of the world though, you guys are who I'm talking to. Not everybody that has some minor issues like myself or some major issues like the very few people that I've found that uh, have an aversion to high tones. Um, anyway, the rest of the world, I want to let you know, don't give up on these little guys. The smaller musical instruments that we make or that you'll find in other uh, situations, whether they be small uh, ocarinas, jaw harps, uh, the harmonica. Some people say that the harmonica uh, is just too high tone for them to listen to. The bagpipes, one of my favorite instruments in the world. Um, anyway, any of those things have the potential to be very pleasing. It's something that uh, is just really a, a mindset that many people have that high tones are bad, you know, for whatever reason. And I hate to speak from a philosophical point of view, which I guess is what this whole video is probably about, but um, a lot of people, I think, feel that way for a couple of different reasons. One of the reasons, I believe, is that uh, the low tones are actually something that make us comfortable and kind of tired and want to go to sleep. And who doesn't in this day and age want to go to sleep? So. Uh, that that could be the reason that most people say that they enjoy the lower tones better than they do the higher tones. Uh, myself, although I really probably could use some extra sleep, <laughs> uh, the uh, high tone flutes are still my favorite. They're really great because I can express... I don't know if you hear that. You hear those little birds? I mean, there's birds of all kinds in this field. So the reason I'm out here today is to uh, let you hear some of what nature has to offer you. And how close these instruments, uh, the smaller flutes, the ones that really are closer to what originally was made. I've even got my one little flute here I keep in my pocket all the time, a little four-hole whistle. About in the same tone as this flute here is. But, uh, you know, these higher tones are probably the reason that people had started making flutes in the first place. Was to mock the sound of animals, specifically birds, because we associate whistling with birds. Um, and uh, for that reason, like I say, don't give up on them. Don't think that you have to play a low-toned instrument to get any enjoyment out of it. Uh, don't think there's not a place for something small and high in tone and that you can't enjoy. Because I promise you, if I play this flute for you, people would say, See, that's a low-toned flute. And, of course, it's not. So, any which way. Now this is actually the highest tone flute that we currently offer for sale. Probably the highest tone flute I will ever sell, not the highest tone I've ever made. Any of you that have uh, seen my video in the past about our world's smallest Native American flute, that was on our Instagram, uh, on Blue Bear Flutes Instagram, you should check it out if you haven't seen it yet. It is a very tiny little flute and so beautiful as I was playing it, a family of uh, 
quail had actually responded to my sound. So I would play it and then they would answer me and I would play it and they would answer me. It was lovely. It was really amazing, heartwarming, very enriching in my life. And I couldn't have done it if I didn't play the world's smallest Native American flute that I was playing in the video. So like I said, this one is currently the highest tone that we have for sale. Even my little four hole flute uh, that I carry around with me everywhere. It's about seven inches long. This one here is about see here right at about 10 not quite 10 inches um, which is small enough that I keep either one of them in my pocket all the time but this guy here is actually in the same key as the other one And still, just a tiny little instrument. It's in the key of high A, um, and this one is pretty close. But, uh, but like I say, don't give up on the small things in life. There are some things that, you know, we feel like have to be grand and huge and massive and and very low in tone, and and uh, that is what it is. It inspires us. But honestly, I think the inspiration can come from anywhere. Myself, it comes from the higher tone flutes. I've met other people, other flute players that feel this way, uh, other non-flute players that felt this way. But uh, like I say, the low tones typically make you feel like you want to go to sleep, and then the high tones kind of make you feel like you're excited and want to and be awake and what have you. But uh, these higher tone instruments are the ones that are closer to the sound uh, that nature makes, uh, at least the not so scary sounds that nature makes. And for that reason, like I say, I, I believe that's probably why it is they were all over the world. Uh, higher tone flutes were originally the first ones ever made. So uh, so keep that in mind. But anyway. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped you out in some way, shape, or form. Maybe thinking or rethinking, if you haven't considered it at this point, uh, the higher tone flutes and uh, higher tone instruments of the world, things that uh, really, uh, you know, are small enough that you can fit in your pocket. So once again, this is Charlie Montotoyella signing out for Blue Bear Flutes and BlueBearFlutes.com. You guys take care. Have a wonderful day. I hope you're all doing well and look forward to seeing you soon.